Thank you so much, Ndugu Ken. Uh, Your Excellency, to uh, the church, to Bishop Mayrori, the presiding bishop here, to the clergy, and to all of us who are here, good afternoon. God is good all the time. Thank you so much. I will not take uh, long, Your Excellency, because I know that you have time constraints. I must say that I'm so honored, Your Excellency, that you chose that I come with you to this church. And so I will not say I'm welcoming you to Homo Bay, because I don't come from Homo Bay. But I'm happy that you chose that on the first day you decided to come to Nyanza, that I would accompany you to be part of this very good ceremony, to listen to the word of the Lord. I'm so blessed I leave this place more richer than I came. Now, I want to recognize my fellow members of parliament who are here. Come on, come on, come on, please. Ndindi, Tayama. We have the member for Korea East. Korea East. The member of Tayama. Arafuka Mkono, too. Arafiki yangu sana, we are love, kuna mshimu wa Kiharu. Anayetu wa mshimu wa Ndindi, Nyoro. Muna mjua huyu? Alafu ule mguana pia tukuja na ibuge siku moja na hitu wa mishimiwa Robi Mathias. Anatoka kue ya. Mkwaribisha? Mimi sina jambo leo mishimiwa. Waisi. Kusabu ni usema siyo nyumbani hapa. Lakini usema tu kwamba tumufrai sana kama wanainchi wa hapa. Kwamba kumekono uchaguzi mzuri. Uchaguzi uliwa kuwa na amani. Na kwamba tumukubali umatokeo kwamba mungu ametupea rais na uh, rais ambaye mungu ametupatia yuko na sisi hapa leo ukuruaka zuru ukuruaka zuru wake ukuruaka zuru ukuru wake and we can attain kabisa ni nyicha wa uoto kwa manyopeny tumwa manyasa yo miyo wa kutoka miyo wa what you can do what you can do we work with him we don't work with him ufanya kazi na ee kama watu wanyanza asanteni sana mungu wabariki wakati huu ningependa pia kabla ya muita mheshimiwa rais kushukuru sana 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 kwa kutambua marafiki yangu mwenzangu Eliud Owalo na kutambua kama waziri wako wa ICT na Digital Formation. Karibu bwana Owalo useme moja lafu uh, karibisha rais. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Dev. Okay. Uh, His Excellency the President, the Church, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Mine is very brief. One is to thank His Excellency the President for taking time out of his very, very tight schedule to make Homer Bay County in Nyanza his first, one of his first points of call during his current administration. Two, I want to thank His Excellency the President for changing the political discourse in this country from politics which is based around rhetoric, tribes and individuals to politics which is anchored on issues touching on the common Mwanaichi. And I verily believe that the election that we have just witnessed within the first two months is going to be the turning call and the rallying call that would make sure that we are united as a country around issues facing the common monarchy. <laughs> Two, I also want to state without fear of contradiction that in our history since independence, for the first time, we have got a sitting president who was elected on the basis of commitments which he made to Anainchi through economic charters. And his government is going to deliver based on commitments which were made before the elections. We thank you very much for committing beforehand that your government will, make, uh, will deliver promises to all parts of this country, irrespective of the voting patterns that we witnessed during the elections, Homa Bay County inclusive. <laughs> Moving forward, Your Excellency, in this region we want to assure you that we will engage you on the basis of the politics of the economy. We want to discuss with you about our fishing. We want to discuss with you about our cotton. We want to discuss with you about 
trade for women and opportunities for the youth. Finally, on behalf of the people of Nyanza, may I have the distinguished honor and privilege to thank you most sincerely for granting me the opportunity to serve in your government on behalf of the people of this region. I now have the distinguished honor and privilege, Your Excellency, to welcome you to talk to the congregation. Ah, yeah. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Asante ni sana. Um... Uh, baba wetu askofu wa sehemu hii ya Nyanza, South Nyanza, Bernard Ondiek, askofu wetu wa kutoka kule Nyanza Central, askofu uh, Philip Asenya, maaskofu wale wengine wote wa kutoka makanisa tofauti tofauti, viongozi wa makanisa ndugu wa Kristo watu wa Homa Bay amjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nyasae Ber Sejete Amoso ujodurwa Aya. <clears throat> Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue ni nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tufike siku ya leo hapa Homa Bay sehemu hii ya Nyanza. Mimi nawashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Homa Bay kwa ibada ya kanisa siku ya leo mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba vile tumefika hapa leo kumwabudu Mungu na ungana na nyinyi watu wa hapa Homa Bay na Nyanza kumshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi kama wa Kenya tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja Tumekuja hapa kumshukuru Mungu kwa mambo mengi ametutendea na zaidi kwa sababu tumekuwa na uchaguzi juzi na Mungu ametujalia hiyo uchaguzi imeendelea vizuri na tumefanya uchaguzi pamoja na amani. Nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwa heshima kubwa kuwashukuru watu wa Nyanza na watu wa Kenya kwa sababu ya kuamua ya kwamba tunataka kupanga nchi yetu kwa njia ya demokrasia na kwa kuzingatia amani katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa watu wote wa Nyanza mimi nataka niwaambie asante sana kwa kutuchagua kwa njia ya na utaratibu ambayo ilikuwa na amani. Asanteni sana. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba mimi nitashirikiana na viongozi wote waliochaguliwa. Kutoka wale wa kiwango ya chini ya MCA, wabunge, maseneta, magavana wote nitashirikiana na wao ili tuweze kupanga maendeleo ya Nyanza na maendeleo ya Kenya. Mara ya mwisho nilikuja hapa Novemba 2021. Nilikuja hapa tukafanya mkutano na viongozi wengi na washirika wengi na washikadao wa sectors mbalimbali wa hapa Nyanza na hasa Homa Bay County. Na tulikubaliana na nyinyi mambo kadhaa ambayo serikali lazima ishughulike nayo 
mambo ambayo yanahusu maendeleo ya sehemu hii hiyo chata ya Homa Bay mimi niko nayo na tulikubaliana yale mambo tulikubaliana mimi nataka niwahakikishie nitazingatia haya mambo tutashirikiana na viongozi wenu na hii Homa Bay haiwezi kubaki nyuma wakati Kenya inasonga mbele and therefore i want to give you my assurance that the agreement with we we made between the people of Oma Bay when i came here for our economic forum that commitment i am going to work with all elected leaders in Oma Bay county and in all counties in the republic of kenya so that we can transform our country on the basis of the plan we have agreed upon. Mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba sasa tumemaliza mashindano. Ma MCA wamechaguliwa. Ma wabunge wamechaguliwa, ma governor wamechaguliwa, ma senator wamechaguliwa. Hasla huyu amechaguliwa kama rais wa Kenya. Mimi mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba nafasi ambayo tuko nayo sasa ni ya kushirikiana na kufanya kazi ya mambo ya Kenya kwa pamoja na viongozi wote. And therefore you have my commitment that I am going to work with all the leaders that you have elected so that we can tackle the issues that affect the citizens of our republic the young people of Kenya the women and every sector our farmers our business people our investors we are going to work together to take this county and this country to the next level kuna mambo ambayo yanaendelea kwa sasa Nili, wakati nilikuwa hapa nilikuja nikalala hapa kwenu na tukaongea pale eh, sokoni pale si ndio kwa stage pale na niliwaeleza wakati huo ya kwamba tuko na miradi ambazo zimekwama tuko na maji na siwe system ya hapa home bay town tuko na maji ya kendu bay town tuko na maji ya sindo tuko na maji ya rangwe tuko na maji eh, ya west karachonyo hiyo mpango yote hiyo mpango yote sasa kufuatilia viongozi wenu ili tuhakikishe kwamba tunatimiza ahadi yetu kwenu ndio mambo ya maendeleo ya sehemu hii iweze kutembea kwa njia ya kasi vile vile najua ya kwamba tulikuwa na barabara hapa kadhaa karibu barabara kilomita mbili katika hii Homa Bay ambazo zimekwama kwama mahali na pale mimi nataka niwahakikishia kwamba mtanipatia nafasi kidogo nipange mambo ya budget na mambo ya uchumi alafu nitakuja nikamilisha hizo barabara zote Nilikuja kwa ile barabara ya Kadel kuja kuja Alara Apala Kanyatiang na <laughs> na niliwahiwa ni barabara ile ya kutoka Mbita kuja Sindo kuja eh, Kiabuya kwenda mpaka Karungu hiyo barabara pia nitaifuatilia ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba inakamilika 
si ndio? Nakumbuka pia wakati nilikuja Rangwe. Tuko na barabara ya kutoka Rangwe kwenda Nyaburu. Vile vile nasikia imekwama kidogo nitaishughulikia. Tunaendelea tunakubaliana. Pia nakumbuka wakati e, tulikubaliana na nyinyi. Kuna barabara ingine inaitwa mahali fulani inaitwa namba nini? Eh? Hapana sio gal. Kara? Eh, namba Karabok ambaye naenda mpaka Adiedo. Hiyo barabara pia nitaifuatilia. Tuna tuna tunaelewana. So mimi nataka niwaambie hivi watu wa Homa Bay. Mambo yenu ya hapa Homa Bay nitashirikiana na viongozi wenu na nitafuatilia. Hasa ile ya mambo ya maji na sewage ya hapa town tunataka tuikamilishe ndio hii Homa Bay ikae kama city nitarudi hapa mwezi ujao <clears throat> kwa sababu kwa sababu tuko na ile program niliwaeleza nikiwa hapa kwenu niliwaeleza tutakuwa na mpango mkubwa ya mambo ya housing ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wanafanya kazi. Tulikubaliana katika ile program nilizungumza na nyinyi hapa tukasema tutajenga nyumba elfu tano hapa Homa Bay County. Na nitarudi hapa mwezi ujao kuanzisha hiyo program. Tayari kuna mpango ya the first 400 houses nitarudi hapa kuzianzisha ambaye ni locust alafu nitarudi hapa tena pengine mapema mwaka ujao for the phase 2 ya nyumba elfu mbili alafu nitarudi baadaye kwa sababu tunataka tupange nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wa hapa tukiwa tunafanya kazi hiyo kwa sehemu zote za taifa letu la Kenya Nitazungumza na mbunge wenu. Hapa hatuna technical training college ya 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 Homa Bay hapa. Especially Homa Bay constituency. Na pia nafikiri eh, eh, Mbida Mbita South. Hatuna Suba South, sorry. Suba South hatuna pia technical training college. Tazungumza watutafutie ardhi tuwajengee ndio hawa vijana wengi wapate nafasi ya kujifunza ufundi teknolojia na taaluma zingine ndio tuweze kuwapanga na mambo ya ajira tukienda mbele Tunakubaliana Mimi ninajua vile vile ya kwamba ninyi ni watu wafugaji Muko na ngombe nyingi hapa na nitaketi chini na governor wenu tukubaliane ili tuwapange na mbegu za kisasa za AI ambazo tunatengeneza katika ADC ndio tuweze kuimprove livestock ya sehemu hii ndio muwe na mbegu mzuri tuwapange na ngombe yenye iko na nyama na maziwa ndio tuweze kwenda mbele tukiwa pamoja najua vile vile ya kwamba tulikuwa na mambo ya cotton hasa sehemu hii ya Nyanza Mzima, sehemu ya Western hata e, Busia mpaka kule Elgeyo Marakwet. Kesho nimeita baraza la mawaziri tuweze kubadilisha e, ama kupitisha ile kazi imefanywa na scientists wetu ili tuwe na mbegu mpya ya cotton na mbegu mpya ya mimea zingine ile inaitwa BT cotton ndio muweze kupata pamba na mbegu za pamba ambazo zitawapatia mazao zaidi na ambazo ziko resistant na ile eh, magonjwa ambayo ina, eh, inadunisha mazao ya pamba kwa hivyo we are going to work together 
so that we can give you improved BT cotton seeds so that we can enhance the production of cotton, we can get better returns for our farmers, and we can develop the textile industry in the Republic of Kenya. Katika harakati yetu ya kupanga mambo ya industrialization, value addition, na agro-processing. Tumakubaliana? Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka ni wambie. Musikue na wasiwasi, serikali mmechagua ni serikali yenu. Na mimi nimesema nimejitolea, nitawafanyia wa Kenya wote kazi. Na tutashirikiana pamoja na viongozi wenu na wale wengine wote. Tunaelewana? Nataka pia mjue tunawaheshimu viongozi wale wametutangulia. Tunaheshimu rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta, tunaheshimu prime minister wetu Raila Odinga. Na hawa viongozi wetu ambao wametutangulia tutahakikisha kwamba wako na heshima wanapatiwa heshima yao wakati e, wanaendelea na kutusaidia katika viwango zingine za uongozi nimesema hawa e, viongozi wetu elders wetu hawa mniwaachie nitawapanga kwa sababu ni wazee wetu na nitawapanga kwa njia ya heshima ndio eh nitawapanga kwa njia ya heshima Ndiyo, na hawa wengine ambao wamechaguliwa watafanya kazi na mimi. Si ndio? So mimi nataka niseme asante sana kwenu. Jameni, mimi na waomba tu kitu kimoja. Na waomba ya kwamba mtukumbuke kwa maombi. Sisi wote tuliochaguliwa ndio tuweze kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu na vile vile tuweze kuwatumikia kwa njia ambayo itafaidi kwa Kenya wote. Tumekubaliana? Ndio. Tutatembea pamoja? Ndio. So, asanteni sana eh, watu wa Homa Bay kwa kutukaribisha. Mimi najua ya kwamba kuna mahasla wengi huko hawajaniona vizuri. Tutaenda tuongee huko nje, huko baadaye tutaenda kuongea huko. Sawa? Mimi nataka niwaambie asante sana, asante sana Bishop kwa kutukaribisha. Mimi nataka ni kuhakikishia kwamba hii kanisa tutajenga pamoja na wewe mpaka tuikamilishe. Asante sana na Mungu awabariki.